Neighbor number nine from Wilhelm Mueller. This is the DIY Productions release from Yan Chaos. Hot damn. I wasn't sure what to fucking expect. I just knew it would be gory. Because Yan's putting it out, but fuck it, eh? Number nine is fucking awesome. If you see this anywhere out for sale and you don't have a copy, fucking grab it. This shit was fucking wild. Uh, it starts off a little slow with uh, the introduction of the neighbor. And he's just this like creepy loner type dude. His whole apartment's just plastered with cutouts from porn magazines. Eating almost straight out of fucking cans, shit like that. Um, and then he gets his victim. And we're treated to, so it's short, it's like 20 minutes. And we're treated to about, what is it, like 10 or 12 minutes worth of him just torturing this chick. And fucking A, does he ever fucking torture her? It is goddamn beautiful fucking straight up knife to the cunt fucking little hand blender to the mouth all sorts of fucking awesome shit I fucking loved it um I fucking I can't fucking wait to check out the uh the rest of the shorts on here which I'm about to do and I'm going to include the reviews for those in this video as well so fucking stay tuned um up next we have Callus and in nomine satene happy anniversary vor a blank blank christmas eve excessive and cabin fever i have no idea what to expect but after seeing neighbor number nine i am fucking amped boys and girls neighbor number nine whether you see it on a solo disc or in a compilation like this one, you need this fucking short if you're a fan of fucked up horror and fucking torture flicks. Because, fuck! This shit's just fucking beautiful. Fucking get a copy right now. I'm done fucking talking. I'm back. I'm off to get back to the fucking short films. Thanks for fucking watching. Peace! <laughs> Alright. Just finished watching Callus, the second short on that Wilhelm Mueller Neighbor Number 9 disc. And again, just fucking awesome. The fucking gore was magnificent. And it was a cool little take on the whole uh, drug up a hooker and fucking beat the shit out of her type of movie. It was... It had a nice little twist to it. I ain't gonna say much about it. I don't want to spoil anything, but... <clears throat> Callus is fucking awesome. It's short. Um, I didn't check the runtime, but it felt like it was only maybe like 10 minutes long. Um, another highlight of that short is they rip a bunch of blow off of a fucking Gigi Allen CD cover. So fucking thumbs up right there for that. And then the fucking violence and gore that ensued after the fucking coke. Oh, fucking magnificent. Wilhelm, you're fucking killing it, dude. Can't wait to get back to the other shorts, which I'm about to fucking do. But, uh, yeah, Callus, you guys need to check this out. Fucking... <clears throat> Not sure how you're going to get a copy, as I believe Yen is all sold out of Neighbor Number 9, but hopefully another compilation of Wilhelm shorts comes out, because you motherfuckers need this in your fucking collection, man. This dude is fucking killing it! Alright, there's the review for Callus, short and sweet, just like the fucking film. Thanks for watching, more reviews coming right after this. Peace! Just finished the third one in Nomine Satene. And I think because of how fucking brutal the first two shorts were, 
This one didn't really grab me. Um, it was well shot and everything. Um, dude eating from a bowl of maggots and later on opening someone and taking out handfuls of fucking guts, maggots, and worms was cool. But overall, it's pretty slow. And I think because this is the first short that hasn't had subtitles and they used um, a dropped pitch shift on the uh, like on the chanting and stuff I didn't know what the fuck they were saying or anything so I just couldn't really get myself that involved in this short unfortunately like I said it's still shot really well um, and if you understand the language, then you might dig it a bit more than I did, but yeah, there wasn't a whole, whole lot that really grabbed my attention, aside from the bowl of maggots and the, uh, the other part that I mentioned. So, again, though, like, the effects and everything were well done, um, the two actors in this, well, actor and actress, they're the same from uh, from Callus, so that was really cool. Um, I'm really digging this whole crew that Wilhelm's put together that he works with for all of his shorts. It's it's really cool. Um, that way, like they all kind of have. A similar feeling to them which I enjoy they like, callous and neighbor number nine yeah they have a kind of a similar style and feel to them but they are definitely not the same movie uh, Satane again similar feel and vibe but definitely a different style of movie so I like how they branch out and they don't just try and focus on one specific genre of gore um, they're going out and doing different things um, again it's, just, it's like I said if I'm sure if there were subtitles over what buddy was fucking chanting and saying in this one I probably would have been a bit more invested and caught a little more but Hey, they can't all be fucking bangers though, right? So, still cool to have it included on this, and I'm sure I'll watch it again. Uh, still don't know what the fuck they're saying, but <clears throat> hopefully I'll I'll be pulled into it on the rewatch. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for in nominees to ten a, and I'm gonna go jump into happy anniversary now. And I'll be back with that. Peace. All right, this will be a two for one. Uh, happy anniversary and Vor. Uh, those two were extremely fucking short. Like both combined might have been three or four minutes. Happy anniversary was fucking dope. Super simple, but fuck was it ever effective. I fucking loved that shit. Um, it might have been a total of like a minute, minute and a half runtime, but fuck me. That shit was fucking gold. Super simple, but like I said, super fucking effective. Uh, I don't even want to say anything about what happens, obviously, due to the shortness of it. It will ruin pretty much anything about it. Um, but fuck. Happy anniversary was fucking gold. And then, right after that, it cuts into Vor. Now, I don't know if this was just a trailer for the flick, and there's a full length coming out. Um, I know there's a company releasing a title called Vor with a bunch of short films. I really hope this short doesn't become part of that, because it's from a company I'll never fucking buy anything from again. But... Vor on this Mwah. fucking awesome uh, it's just a fucking bloody messy good time uh, fuck 
I'm so glad I jumped on this fucking thing and like I grabbed it just expecting neighbor number nine on here. Uh, but with all these shorts added to it, fuck, man, this was a deal and a fucking half. All right. I've got three more shorts to go on this. The Christmas Eve one, Excessive, and Cabin Fever. I'm going to fuck off and go watch Christmas Eve right now, and I'll be back with the review for that. Peace. A blank, blank. Christmas, which at the end during the credits we find out means a serial killer's Christmas. And it's fucking awesome. So it starts off nice and wholesome. You got a couple sitting by the Christmas tree. It's Christmas Eve and they're exchanging gifts. And that's where the wholesomeness ends and the fun begins. Because they're giving each other fucking face masks and chloroform, knives and sledgehammers for Christmas. And the final gift of all is a poor woman wrapped up like a Christmas gift for them to fucking slaughter. It's fucking brilliant. I fucking love this short. Holy shit. It's... Again, it's the the same dude who's been in all the other shorts. Um, Stefan Shanda. I probably butchered your name, and I apologize for that. Um, it's just so fucking dope. I, I'm having so much fun watching this disc. Fuck, this is one of the best purchases I've made this year. Neighbor number nine. Fucking find this. You guys need this fucking movie. This shit is gold. Um, kind of sucks I'm almost finished it, though. Two shorts left. Here's hoping they're fucking bangers. Thanks for watching. Excessive. The second last short of the night. Neighbor number nine disc from DIY Productions and though it's not very gory excessive was a lot of fucking fun um, it takes place in like an operating room uh, we've got a woman uh, her name's Judith in real life uh, she's also in the serial killers Christmas short and uh, happy anniversary as well. Uh, this time she's playing a patient. She's on like a surgical table. Uh, the paper gowns all over her with her belly button exposed, surgical marks on her. And Wilhelm dressed up as the surgeon. Uh, lots of panning on the medical equipment and everything. No dialogue until the very end. Uh, that the ending had me fucking laughing my ass off though this shit was fucking hilarious um, again no gore um, cool little setup though cool little setup I fucking dug this one um, fuck that was funny shit uh, I don't know what to say about it without spoiling anything again this one felt like it might have been like five minutes long, so anything I say will spoil it, really. Just know, <clears throat> just know that Excessive is fucking hilarious, uh, and I fucking loved it. So, yeah, this disc, is, this disc has a fucking wicked, wicked track record so far. I'm on to the last short, Cabin Fever, and I'll be back with the review for that. Base Cabin Fever, the final short film of Wilhelm Mueller on the Neighbor Number Nine disc, and it's a lot different than I was expecting. Fucking dope still, um, but with the title like Cabin Fever, I was expecting some Lost in the Woods type of thing, but it actually deals with the COVID lockdown. Uh, and it follows 
a woman played by Judith, uh, and, the, and her slow mental decline throughout the nine or ten week lockdown. Uh, I think it ended on week nine in this in this video. Uh, so it starts off with her just watching the news and having a sandwich during the first week. And then it cuts to the second, and it, it's just like it just shows one day out of each week. And is it by the third or fourth week? She, I think it was the third week. She started to shoot up heroin, um, just to escape reality. And like, she's using the cotton from a fucking used cigarette to suck the heroin up in the needle through and. It's just fucking nasty shit. Uh, then when she's high, you just see her fucking lounging on a beach with a fucking drink. It's fucking living life, you know? Um, but that's the last of the good times for her as the continuing weeks just get worse and worse and she starts doing some... Uh, pretty fucked up stuff to herself and other things uh, I won't go into details so I don't ruin anything um, hopefully a lot of you fuckers get your hands on copies of these films because god damn Wilhelm you fucking rock dude these short flicks have been fucking awesome Oh, fuck. I'm so glad I jumped on this when Yan announced it. God damn. Holy fuck. This anthology... Like, I don't even know what to fucking say. This anthology's been fucking dope. Even the one I wasn't a huge fan of was still better than a lot of shit that's been getting put out, so... Fuck. Fuck. I highly recommend you find yourself a copy of this. I know I'm sounding like a broken record right now. I don't fucking care. Y'all need this fucking disc. Um, <laughs> it only being 25 made. Good fucking luck. Um, but hopefully Wilhelm gets another compilation made or something so you folks can see this shit because god damn I fucking loved it. Everything about this shit was awesome. Fucking Wilhelm was dope. His homies in the flicks were dope. Fucking Stefan. Uh, Judith. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna screw her name up. Uh, Mulier Seen Nolin. Nope. Uh, Mulier Seen. I'm sorry. I fucked your name up. I know I did, but... Like, everyone involved, fucking, fucking great work, guys and gals. Um, I don't know what else to say, because I'm just going to keep repeating myself, but go check out Wilhelm's work. You will not be disappointed. This thing kicked fucking ass. Thanks for fucking watching. That wraps up this whole anthology fucking killer time and I'm about to go jump into the White Gardenia anthology from a Baroque house next thanks for fucking watching folks stay sleazy, peace so final thoughts on the neighbor number 9 Wilhelm Mueller anthology or I guess short film collection I don't know if it'd be called an anthology or not but 10 out of fucking 10 right here, folks. The shit was fucking incredible. Wilhelm, you and your friends fucking knocked it out of the fucking park. Uh, Stefan was fucking phenomenal in everything he did on this. Uh, Judith was awesome. Uh, Moulier's seen no mean. Again, I'm sorry I fucked your name up, but you were awesome. Um, just everyone involved did a fucking stellar job. 
I know this release was extremely limited to only 25 copies, but if you can find anything with Wilhelm's work on it, I highly recommend you grab that shit. This dude is fucking incredible. And I'm kind of mad that it took me this long to see any of his fucking work. Um, granted, most of these had, like, uh, on the title screen, like, 2018 or 2020-ish for release dates. Um, so that, I guess, can explain why I haven't really seen much of them before. Um, now, in order... Let me put these in order of what I prefer. Now for last place, uh, I think it's going to have to be In No Means Satane. Uh, still a good short. Actually, we just rewatched it this morning. Um, it was much better on the second viewing, but it's still my least favorite part of this disc. Um, after that, um, probably have to say Cabin Fever um, and well done but I'm kind of over the whole COVID thing um, granted with it being made last year it's understandable it's not like he just did it all of a sudden to uh, try to get popular out of it but still I'm um, kind of overhearing about COVID and all that shit so maybe like 5-10 years down the road when all this bullshit's hopefully fucking over with I can sit back and watch that one and just fucking have a laugh now Judith was phenomenal in it I'm just saying the subject matter was kind of meh for me um, Happy Anniversary and Vor probably be after that, uh, Happy Anniversary cracked me up, but it's literally like 20 fucking seconds long. Um, fucking great 20 seconds, but still pretty short. Vor, on the other hand, whew, Vor was phenomenal, but it was played more like a movie trailer than an actual short film. Um, if that is a trailer, I'm teasing for an upcoming project, count me the fuck in, I need that. Uh, again, unless it's part of that other film that fucking cunt of a company is putting out in Italy. After that, we have Callus, Neighbor Number Nine, and A Serial Killer's Christmas Eve. I'm not sure. These top, these three are the definite top three. Um, oh shit, and Excessive is in there too. Ah, fuck. I uh, probably have to do Excessive. <clears throat> it is a lot of fun though. Trust me, Excessive was dope as shit. But the other three just edge it out a little bit more. Now, between Neighbor, Callus, <clears throat> and Serial Killer's Christmas Eve. a tough fucking call folks I'm not sure which one to go with here um, probably a serial killer's Christmas Eve as much as that shit made me laugh and as how much fun it was it just didn't have the gore that the other two have but it is fucking amazing and it was such a great watch um now between neighbor number nine and callus i think i'm going neighbor number nine putting callus as the top short of this disc they're just once you get down to it it's it's a hard final decision but like these are all bangers uh definitely check out wilhelm's work and that's going to wrap up the review for the neighbor number nine DIY productions release. Thanks for watching, folks, and stay sleazy. Peace.